I thought the characters, they were interesting characters. Uh, and character driven, I mean, the dog, Enzo, is a character, and, but obviously bringing, I mean, bringing in very human qualities. Um, but the, you know, character driven pieces are rare these days uh, um, on, in films and studio films. They're, they're a rare thing now. So when you see a, a character driven, when you get a character driven script coming your way from a studio, it's pretty, it's, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty exciting actually. My job is to find the, 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 the reasons why my character does what he does. And uh, in this case, he's clearly uh, obsessed with or is driven by the welfare of his of his daughter and then his granddaughter. So, and he's a, got a man of means, he has money. I don't know if it was his biggest fear, but it's one of his fears, uh, this type of man, that his daughter is gonna marry someone who's not gonna be financially secure. And again, that's what this guy, that's his, how he orders the world, is financial, around financial security. So here she brings home somebody who's not only not likely to be a, a secure, I mean financially secure, but he's in a, in a dangerous job on top of it. Um, so all he's thinking about is the heartache that lays ahead, you know, that, for her, or, and then how, how is he going to provide for the granddaughter. I wanted to expo explore a certain... Uh, uh, Emotional life there for him, a little easier going than, than maybe we would expect. But when it came to, when it comes to the real uh, losing a daughter and the trauma of that, I mean, we all know in many cases, parents who lose a child, let alone an only child, they simply don't survive. I mean, they just don't survive. The marriage doesn't survive or uh, one or both of them literally don't survive. They lose lose it they lose the will to live so that's now in this story but I mean I that's another thing that Simon and I talked about because that's not the story we're doing these folks survive but we agree that some element of that level of grief had to be for me as an actor I had to have that in mind when I was approaching the confrontation with Denning about you know, handing him the papers and all that kind of stuff. I mean, that's just a, a man on the verge of a breakdown. He has a kind of, a level of sincerity that's very uh, um, endearing, you know? Uh, you know, it kind of comes from his toes, which uh, it comes up from the bottom, and he means it. Um, and it's just a natural quality he has, which is... Uh, I think very appealing. It's very reassuring to know a director's paying attention so that you might make a subtle adjustment or something and you know it's very subtle or, or if you're just doing the work and doing a scene and they come up and say something and you, you, you just know right away that they're paying attention. They know exactly what you're doing. And Simon, he's really trying to achieve something and uh, he's being very uh, uh, meticulous about it.